Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Buddy Blackford here, and I'm going to teach you how to use rulers and guides. Now, there is a ruler tool in uh, Photoshop CS6, and then there are also uh, rulers and guides um, that you can put on your canvas. So I'm going to show you how to use both of those in this tutorial, and you can use these to line up different things within your scene. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to create two rectangles. And they're going to have a fill in them. I'm going to make it a different color because this color sucks. Let's do it like this blue color. And here we go. There's a square and then here's another square. Now what I want to do is align these uh, squares up so that they're like evenly even at the top with each other. So what I'm gonna do first is come to view and I'm gonna come down here to rulers. And that's gonna bring the rulers down on the side. And now you can use this uh, measure these measurements here to guide yourself where you uh, need to have everything lined up. Now the coolest thing about these rulers is that you can click on the ruler and drag down and it'll bring a guide down for you. So it snaps um, to different things. So it has snapped to this um, top of this square. So I'll do that. And now I can come to this other or rectangle. Now I can come to this other rectangle and use it to snap to here. And now our rectangles are lined up nicely. So the way to get this off is to just bring it up back off the screen onto the ruler up there. So you can do that from this side also. And it's uh, pretty helpful. I use these a lot for figuring out what, uh, what I want to do. So got that. You can move these along and snap them to them. Pretty easy. You don't even have to hold anything to snap these to it. They just automatically do when you move it close. So that's how that works. Let's get this ruler out of here and I'll show you the ruler tool which is right here and um, the eye, it's underneath the eyedropper tool or the note or color sampler tool so it's within that so with the ruler tool you can draw your own lines and they don't have to go across the whole entire screen or anything you can draw them any way you want like this they don't have to be um, completely straight or anything like that so now I got my ruler here um, and if you can see on the actual guides up at the top and on the sides there's a dotted line and that dotted line represents what part of the ruler I'm on so you can use that as like a like a little measurement helper there so I right now I'm moving it and if you look at the top I'm moving left to right so the top one is actually moving uh, a decent amount between 9 and 10 right now if you can see that so use that for uh, helping yourself figure out where you should be so I'm gonna drop this tool down so all I did was clicked and dragged and it gave me these two points now I can select these rectangles here oops oh it's gone I gotta select this tool again um, my computer actually kinda like froze for a second so I'm gonna start over so um, right now I'm on my rectangle layer there and I draw my line out for my ruler tool and then if I come over to like straighten layer it'll rotate the um, actual square up upon the uh, way that the ruler was actually created now when you're using your ruler tool if you drag and hold shift it will snap to 45 degree angles like this you can see that let me come up let me come up over here so you can see it maybe a little better so that's how that works and it does 45 degree angles for you oops it controls Z by accident so to clear out your ruler you just go to over here to clear and it'll click it out if you hit control Z to try to clear out your ruler, all it does is nothing. It'll um, like it 
control Z is undo, and all it will do is undo the last thing you did that wasn't the ruler tool. So sometimes that happens to me. Most things I hit control Z for, but you got to hit clear to clear out your ruler tool. You can um, also create like a protractor with the uh, ruler tool. So if you drag out and you let go, you create a line. Now you can go to the ends and move them around if you would like, still with the ruler tool selected. But if you hold down Alt and mouse over, you get the protractor icon. And with that, you can drag out a whole new angle. So um, that's useful on that. And then you can move the entire thing by moving over top. And then you can also still move your different points here with your tool. So that's uh, fairly nice there. So that's how you use the ruler tool. And uh, I guess uh, that's uh, where our tutorial is going to end today. So it's kind of nice. Let's. I keep on saying like all the tools are kind of nice. I guess they are. They all got their purposes and uses. So, I mean, thanks for watching this tutorial and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. See you later.